Hi you guys, this is Amy and I wanted us to check out the new Google Q&A feature that just came out today um, because I'm super excited about it. Now it does not work yet in my Google Apps for Work account. I did have to change a setting and I think that's holding it back from working. So let me show you what that is in case it doesn't work for you. So this is the setting I'm talking about right here. I had to change this. Allow users in friedtechnology.com to send sharing invitations to people outside the domain who are not using a Google account. And then I had to change this to allow external users to prevent preview file without Google sign-in. I think that's what's preventing it working from in my domain. I can let you know for sure in a couple of days. But for now it does work through my fried technology uh, at gmail.com account and so I thought I'd go ahead and preview it with you here because it is such an exciting feature for teachers and for uh, conference presenters. I will be definitely using this in all my presentations from now on. So this is a presentation that I recently did at the Texas Library Association and I just want to show you how I would have done this if this feature had been available. So what I would do when I want to start the presentation is go to the down arrow up here in the top right and then choose to see the presenter view. So here's that special view and it's going to open up this window right here that's going to give me both a timer and a chance to use the audience tools. So I'm going to start a new set of questions right here. It's going to generate a URL and here's that same URL up here that my viewers are going to see when they're in the room with me. So I'm going to see if I can put this out on the web and generate some questions and then I'll come back when you can see those. So I've asked a couple of questions in here just to show you what it looks like and uh, presumably people will be able to actually vote those questions up or down so that you can have a list of moderated questions to answer. This really reminds me of Google Moderator except now it's actually integrated into slides. When you start a presentation over again, you'll get a chance to, to have a new set of audience tools or to resume the last set that you used. Um, so this is really cool, you guys. I'm super excited about it. Here's another new feature that's been added in. Down here in the bottom right is the laser pointer. So now we can pull out that laser pointer and draw around something right on the screen. And then you can turn it back off again and resume using your mouse. So I hope that lets you get started with this awesome new tool. If you find out new things about it, I would love to know what you hear. And I'll be using it and hopefully be back with a more thorough tutorial soon. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.